Hello everyone and welcome to another indie horror game and welcome to Everlast. Live your best afterlife. This is going to be a digital afterlife experience and I'm sure it's going to be quite strange but let's give it a go shall we? So hello is, is anyone there? If you can see me it means that your consciousness has been at least 25% uploaded. Okay. Right, so, uh, 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 where's the other 75% of me? It's safely stored on a massive, distributed computing cluster owned by Everlast. Right. Don't worry. The rest of you is uploading as we speak. Well, I'm sorry, but the 25% of me already uploaded is worrying. Okay, is she real? Like, is she an actress, or is this like a, a generated AI? I think it might be the latter, but the fact that I can't tell is actually... Kind of worrying. Um, who are you? I'm here to help you cross over. Okay. In ancient cultures, I might have been called a psychopomp. That's a little grandiose for my tastes. I like to think of myself as a combination of greeter, check-in clerk, and onboarding technician. All right. Uh, so, I guess I'm dead, right? If you're talking about your physical body, then yes. Hmm. Your cognitive processes are no longer running on wetware. Wetware. But we've modeled all your neural connections as bits of code that's currently running on silicon and metal. I see. Okay. How did I die? You were doing whippets inside a bouncy castle when you lost your balance and fell. <laughs> the fall broke your neck, killing you instantly. Sounds about right. Here at Everlast, you'll never sustain that kind of injury again. Is that right? Unless you're into that sort of thing. In which case you can simulate death and be reborn as many times as you wish. Okay, so it's some sort of afterlife free-for-all? But the place we're in, it, it's so bare. This is just the lobby. Once we sign you up for one of our digital afterlife membership plans, <laughs> you'll have access to hundreds of worlds crafted for your enjoyment. Okay. Every aspect of your biology will be faithfully reproduced and infinitely customizable. You'll be able to taste every note in a glass of perfectly aged wine, while a hangover will be optional. All right. Well, that doesn't sound so bad, I suppose. So, yeah, what kind of plans are available? <laughs> we offer three afterlife membership tiers. Basic, Premium, and Elite. All right. Your tier eligibility is based on your afterlife participation readiness score. Uh, my, my what score? It's a trustworthiness score that determines what kinds of spaces you'll be able to enter and what kinds of privileges we can grant to your account. Okay. We can run the score in one of two ways. Based on your past behavior in digital spaces or based on your internet search history. Do you have a preference? Definitely not the internet search history. Don't do that to me, okay? Uh, how do you have all this data? One of the most wonderful things about your digital afterlife here at Everlast is that you'll always be surrounded with media that's tailored to your interests. Okay. Our goal is to make you feel seen. In building out this media-rich environment for you, we worked closely with several partners whose services you relied on heavily back when you were mortal. These partners can't wait to continue serving you here on the other side. Right. But why do I feel like I'll be serving them? <laughs> There's something very horribly dystopian and sort of black mirror about this entire thing, but sure. Okay, definitely not search history. Use my online behavior, which honestly I think has been exemplary. Our records indicate that during the course of your lifetime, you made 3,201 internet shitposts, <laughs> ignored 522 software updates, what? used your ex's Netflix password for nine years, <laughs> signed up for the same free trial using multiple email addresses on 18 occasions, mm -hmm. and used an ad blocker on 82% of the sites you visited. Right. Regrettably, these behaviors resulted in a score too low for acceptance into our premium and elite plans. Oh dear. It is therefore my pleasure to offer you our basic tier. Yay. But, yeah, but doesn't everyone do these kind of searches? And How basic is it? Yeah, doesn't everyone do this? Your attempt to justify your antisocial conduct towards our esteemed corporate partners by appealing to what you mistakenly perceive to be normal behavior 
has been duly noted. Oh dear. Your score has been further updated for future reference. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, I, I, I guess it can't get any worse, right? How basic is this basic tier? I think I saw something about SMS messages. The basic tier is subsidized by our corporate partners. All right. Thanks to their generous contribution, we're able to offer you perpetual afterlife access. Okay. Free charge. In exchange, we require that you submit to some minor adjustments to your psychographic profile, messaging settings, and emotional range. What do you mean exactly? Uh, right. Uh, let's just go from the top down. We offer our customers a channel to your loved ones who have not yet passed. Right. Our basic customers are limited to 25 messages per month, <laughs> 140 characters per message, and an overall vocabulary of 500 words to choose from. Just 500? Messages must adhere to our code of conduct, which forbids sexual content, profanity, and negative assessments of Everlast. <laughs> you may unlock new words you can use by endorsing our corporate partners in your messages. For every endorsement, 15 new words will be added to your vocabulary. So... I can tweet to friends and family members who are still alive, and the more companies that I mention, the more words I can choose from. Okay, this really is an episode of Black Mirror. What about my emotional range? While premium and elite members live on servers belonging to Everlast, our basic members will be running on the servers of corporate sponsors. Okay. In your case, that sponsor is Uber. <laughs> <laughs> Complex emotions are the most computationally expensive part of your model for them to run. Right. For this reason, at times when Uber requires more computing resources, for example, during bad weather or rush hour, you may experience a temporary shutdown of your emotional faculties. Oh, fucking hell. During these periods, you may be assigned to assist Uber in route planning, <laughs> vehicle operation, or customer service. Right. So... Just whenever they need me, I'm kind of forced to be a sat-nav or something like that, potentially. And what about my psychographic profile? Yes. Already, at merely 25% uploaded, we're seeing some very strong patterns come through in your data uh -huh. that are taking up significant resource. Frustration and worry, in probably. your love for your mother, your first teacher, and your best friend. Okay. In order to run you cost-effectively on our basic tier, we're going to have to perform a search and replace function to swap your love for one of those people with love for one of our esteemed partners, w Carl's Jr. <laughs> what? What? Oh, so I've got to choose my mother, my teacher, my best friend, or, or stop! This is, this is inhumane! Yeah, I'm going to say that. If you refuse to participate in the psychographic calibration, I am authorized to swap out all three of these people for three of our brands. Trust me, you don't want that. So please, make your choice. I mean, this is actually quite dark. Yeah, I mean, it's not a typical horror game, but there is some extreme existential horror here. I mean, of course, this isn't really happening to me, because I'm dead. This is some sort of copy of my brain. It's, it, this is sort of going back to games like Soma. You know, it's it's a copy of me. It's not actually me. But whatever, whatever. It, is it going to be my mother, my teacher, or my best friend? I guess it's going to be my teacher, right? I know that must have been a difficult choice. On the plus side, Carl's <laughs> Jr. is thrilled to have you as part of their family. To welcome you, they've transferred one Big Carl Cheeseburger over to your inventory. Wow. Before we exit the psychographic calibration... We need to make another adjustment. What? Another one? It seems one? that your love for the remaining two people is taking up just a little bit too much storage space oh, man. on the basic tier. I'm going to have to ask you to choose one more person whom we'll replace with another one of our valued partners, Lockheed Martin. <laughs> Please make your selection. <laughs> so it's got to, yeah, it's got to be either my mother or my best friend. Wow. Uh, this is really quite dark. Uh... I'm going to choose my best friend. Sorry. Your psychographic preferences have been updated. You might experience a temporary feeling of having misplaced an important keepsake. Mm. Don't try to figure out what you've lost. That will only make the pain worse. Instead, think of all the wonderful ways that you can support the brands that matter to you. 
The more shareholder value your favorite brands create, the more they can invest in loving you back. <laughs> What a weird and twisted way of doing things. I mean, it's dark. It's got this dark humor to it as well, which I actually kind of appreciate. Anyway, yeah, the basic plan is hell. Is there any way out of it? Or I can just say, I, I can't live like this. Just shut me down. Delete me. Right? Um, is there any way out of this? You bet. Yeah? We're here to empower all our customers in living their best afterlife by giving them the opportunity to earn credits that can be traded in for upgrades. Right. So, yeah, how do I earn credits? What kind of jobs are available, exactly? How do I earn them? In the past, there were quite a few jobs to choose from. Drone guidance, bot farming, content censorship, <laughs> and DDoS swarming were some of the exciting and fulfilling roles we had to offer. Exciting it's and fulfilling. recently. We AI keep losing our jobs to living humans. Right. But there just happens to be one opening in my department. Oh, really? Would you be interested in being a greeter, like me? Uh, I mean, not really, but I guess beggars can't be choosers. It's either this or I need to be deleted, right? I mean, uh, yeah, what does it entail? It's sacred work. You get to usher people through a liminal space. You help them to make the right choices and to let go of what no longer serves them. And the best part is... You get to earn commission on their customer after lifetime value in perpetuity. <laughs> and it's easy. All you have to do is read from a script. Right. Uh, okay, I'm noticing that quite a few of the subtitles are incorrect. And to be honest, that's maybe even assisting with the uncanny valley aspect of this game. I'm pretty sure it's unintentional, but it's giving me that vibe that the basic plan is kind of shoddy. It's not looked after. It's not really cared about properly. How long will it take before I can upgrade? Let's see. You need 200,000 credits in order to upgrade to the premium plan. What? And earning that should take about 83 years. <laughs> what? But don't worry. Time works differently here. Right. You'll see what I mean. Okay. I'm worried that the 83 years might actually take even longer than normal. I, I suppose I've got no choice. It's been a pleasure serving you. I look forward to seeing you around at the office. <laughs> Your first customer will be joining you shortly. Right. Goodbye. Well, there you go. I'm going to be a greeter. Oh! What is this place? Right. A again, not a real person. Looks very much like a real person, but there's just something very much off about him. So, yeah, I th <laughs> this is just the lobby. Why can't I remember what happened? Well... Some types of cognitive processing, such as goal-setting, attention, and impulse control, might be missing certain modules. But don't worry, you won't need those where you're going. And is that it? Does it end with a black screen? To be honest, that is quite fitting. I think that's it. Well, there you go. That was Everlast. A little bit different, but I hope you enjoyed it nevertheless. Is this the dystopian future and afterlife we all have to look forward to, or copies of ourselves all have to look forward to? I sure hope not. Thanks for watching. See you next time. The rest of you is uploading as we speak. Well, I'm sorry, but the 25% of me already uploaded is worrying. You were doing whippets inside a bouncy castle when you lost your balance and fell. <laughs> <laughs> the fall broke your based on your internet search history. Do you have a preference? Definitely not the internet search history. Don't do that to me, okay? You made 3,201 internet shitposts. <laughs> right. So, just whenever they need me, I'm kind of forced to be a sat-nav or something like that, potentially? With love for one of our esteemed partners, w Carl's Jr. <laughs> what? I know that must have been a difficult choice. On the plus side, <laughs> is through earning that should take about 83 years. What? But don't worry.